Biden brags about mythical progress on inflation while food costs skyrocket. Even uh, the rapper Cardi B, who was caping for Biden um, during the 2020 election, she even interviewed him and was like, hey, guys, you know, we need to vote for this guy. Now even her, now even she, sorry, now even she is saying that uh, uh, that it, it, it's bad. She's been helping out more people than she ever have. And she was saying how she don't understand how people are even making it right now. And the, and the honest answer is a lot of people are struggling. A lot of people aren't making it under Biden, the Biden administration. And then you just compare it to where we were um, under Trump. Everybody knows this. The left is trying to hide this. And, and they were celebrating, out there celebrating um, yesterday about the, over the Inflation Act, which is not going to do anything to help inflation. In fact, studies show that it's going to cause inflation to be even worse. But they were celebrating this the Inflation Act that they passed while at the same time the stock market was crashing. So this is the disconnect that we have with the Biden administration. But before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button. Share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon where I talk about things I can't talk about here. And there's also um, there a link to all my socials, my Twitter and um, there's a link to my um, Instagram. We're on Instagram now. I'm posting stuff daily, news daily, where there are little 30 seconds to a minute um, little summaries of, of news stuff that's going on um, around the world. Very, very informative. If you want to be informed, check it out. JJ, the psychotherapist. All right, let's talk about this news. Smoke, mirrors, and outright lies. That's, the, that's been uh, Joe Biden's strategy to fight the inflation that's emptying the American people's wallets and eating away at America's standard of living. It's it's rough, y'all. I'm not going to lie. It's rough. But Biden's excuses for inflation have evolved over the last few months. Remember when fuel inflation was the fault of the oil companies? Now uh, that the price is dropping largely because of the increase of supply, uh, increased supply due to weaker uh, economic activity, we haven't heard many attempts uh, to demonize the evil oil companies and whatever happened to the inflation being the fault of retailers. I can also remember when Putin was the number one culprit for inflation and big business too. And remember when the reason your food bill was so high was because of greedy food processing companies. He blamed everyone but himself. Uh, we don't hear Biden grossing um, much about that anymore. Um, perhaps he, he realized that his blaming others for the problem he created wasn't working politically as well as he had hoped. A Biden new strategy is to pretend uh, inflation is getting better. He issued a statement patting himself on the back for doing such a great job bringing down, uh, bringing down the prices. This is just nuts that he had the audacity to even do this. Um, but he said, today's data show more progress in bringing global inflation down um, in the U.S. economy. Overall, prices have been essentially flat or in, cut in our country these last two months. Uh, um, that, is welcome, that is welcome news for the American families with more work still to do. Gas prices are down on average $1.30 a gallon since the beginning of the summer. This month, we saw some some price increase slow from the month before at the grocery store and real wages went up again for a second month in a row, giving hardworking families a little breathing room. Just lies on top of lies. And well, first, let's let's tackle the way he talk about the gas prices. Gas prices are down a dollar and 30, but that's because of the reserves. He's tapping into the oil reserves and the oil reserves are super duper low. I think it's the lowest we've had in history. I could be wrong, but I believe I did read that um, oil reserves are the lowest that has ever it has ever been, and so what? And now he's talking about filling those reserves back up. So gas is about to go back up again. Maybe probably might try to hold it out, hold out until after the midterm. But gas prices are gonna go back up. This is all smoke and mirrors. Um, he goes on to say it would take more time and resolve to bring inflation down, which is why we passed the Inflation Reduction Act to lower cost of healthcare, prescription drugs, and energy. And again, 
uh, st um, studies have shown their own studies, the government own studies shown that this is not going to help anything. It's actually going to increase and create uh, inflation. It's going to make the cost of things actually go up. This is this. They just changed the name of the um, act to the um, Inflation Reduction Act. Everything else in that act is the same basic stuff that they had prior to that they couldn't get past. All they did was change the name. This is, again, more smoke and mirrors. He goes on to say, and my economic plan is showing that as we bring prices down, we are creating good paying jobs and bringing manufacturing back to America. All this is false. The manufacturing is not going back to America. I think there's more plants being shut down. I can't remember someone, a car company just shut down a plant and they're moving to Mexico now. I can't remember who. That would have never happened under, um, under Trump. Um, but yes, like I alluded to, gas prices are... are, are um, down to a dollar and thirty um, from when he took office, and all indications point to gas prices going up again before the end of the year. But it's food prices that are the biggest worry, and the White House doesn't appear to have a clue about how to bring them down. And Politico said, "Quote: The majority of those federal programs and funds in the IRA are um, targeted at conservation. You know, potentially increasing conservation efforts." around the country, said Glenn um, Tonser, an agricultural economics professor at Kansas State University. That's not the same as um, increase in production. And that's relevant for the food price discussion because I haven't seen anything that's really about increase in production volume. And that would be one mechanism, obviously, to reduce food prices if we increase the volume um, produced and again, oh, and he goes on to say the tons are added that the efforts to break up market consolidation could lower prices, but only quote if things get nudged towards more competitive behavior without losing supply side economies of scale. And I think that's uh, far more certain in most categories. So um, and and I, it's talking about talk about railroad strikes and stuff like that. If we have a railroad strike. Um, I think they have a deadline on Friday, but if they end up going on strike, it's going to get really, really, food prices are going to really, really get bad because they don't have the railroads to transport the foods and stuff. And Biden isn't interested in reforming anything. It's all smoke and mirrors like I alluded to earlier and bald face lies, as I mentioned. Um, the New York Post uh, uh, reported that the White House report also repeatedly and breathlessly um, breathlessly take credit for an economic recovery that result resulted overwhelmingly from the pandemic uh, receding rather than any presidential policy. The key accomplishment of creating 9.7 million jobs stem mostly from the economy reopening following the pandemic. The decline of more than $1.20 in gas price this summer, of course, fails to mention the 2.61 price rise that had occurred earlier under Biden. So the gas, that's true. The gas price was already high before he got, um, it was already high um, during his um, administration. So even though we do have a dollar and 30 cents less, it's still higher than when um, Trump was in office. And what is certainly news to Republicans, as well as American governors, mayors, and public health officials, the report claimed that Quote, the Biden-Harris administration also took decisive action to open American schools safely. There seems to be few positive developments in America for which the president will not demand full credit. Great point they made there at the um, New York Post. Um, the Federal Reserve isn't at all sure that the raising interest rates will tame inflation, and I don't think it will. I think it's going to make it worse. I think it's actually it's going to put um, a lot of Americans in a bind with high interest rates. But in the early 1980s, when Fed Chair Paul Volcker began to jack up interest rates to a nearly unbearable level, I remember people could not afford anything back in the 80s. I heard about that. Um, only a huge cut in federal spending drove prices down as quickly as they dropped. And the Biden administration is spending, spending, spending like crazy. Biden and the Democrats are still spending like drunken sailors, adding four point eight trillion in spending just um, since the Biden since Biden took office with the premise of more on the way. The Fed can't do this alone. Raising interest rates only take us so far. Congress has to restrain federal spending as well. And I um and I remember Ron Paul, 
he drilled in my head because I used to listen to Ron Paul a lot, but he drilled in my head. We don't have um, a tax problem. We have a spending problem. Government spends so much money. There's nothing like spending someone else's money. They will spend, uh, um, they will buy like $100 nails just to spend your money instead of buying um, stuff that, that that's not that expensive. It's crazy. Um, if they don't, if they don't uh, get spending under control, the Fed will simply jack up interest rates to 1980 levels, like 21 percent and bring about a brutal economic downturn. No one wants that. Least of all, president running for reelection in 2024. I don't even know if he's going to make it to 2024, to be honest with you. But it would be very, very rough on any Democrat um, coming in to try to run for president. Um, if we have levels of, inf of, of, of interest of 21%, could you imagine 21% interest? That is crazy. But let me know what you think about all this. Leave your comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe. And check out democrepublics.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace.